Dr. Fizzbot, and today I have a fizzy fun activity for you that includes a super simple chemical reaction and a colorful green shamrock. Here's a fizz fact. Legend says that St. Patrick used a three-leaved shamrock to illustrate the trinity for the Irish when he lived among them as a missionary. Did you know previously he had been enslaved by them as a teenager? Interesting. I hope that these fizzing shamrocks will remind us of the mysterious marvelousness of our God and of St. Patrick's dedication to spreading the gospel. Let's get fizzing! Today at Fizzbop Labs, I'm assisted by Zoe and Waverly. Let's get started. First, the Fizzbop supply list. We'll need some paper, school glue, two tablespoons or 30 grams of baking soda, a fourth cup or 60 milliliters of vinegar, an 8 ounce or 240 milliliter jar, green food coloring, a baking sheet, and an eyedropper. We'll wait right here while you gather your supplies. Okay, now that we have gathered our supplies, let's get to the experiment. On the piece of paper, we're going to use glue to make several shamrock-shaped outlines of varying sizes. But first, here's a fizz tip. Waverly? Make the shamrocks at least two inches five centimeters apart. Fizz-tastic! Let's make our shamrocks! Fantastic. Marvelous! But we want even more fizz, so I'm going to add some extra lines in the middle so we get an even more fantastic reaction. Fantastic! Next, we'll sprinkle baking soda over all the glue shamrocks. Here is another fizz tip. Zoe? Be sure to completely cover glue with, with the baking soda. An excellent fizz tip. Fizz-tastic! These are fizz-tastic looking shamrocks. But now, we'll need to let the baking soda covered shamrocks dry for two hours. So we're going to have to practice a bit of... Patience! Wonderful! Okay, are your shamrocks dry? Wondrous! Now it's time to pour the vinegar into the jar and add seven drops of food coloring to the vinegar. Excellent. Let's stir this up. Okay. Now, let's set the paper with our shamrocks on our baking sheet. For this example, we're just going to do one shamrock. We're going to use our eyedroppers to add several drops of the green vinegar to the center of each shamrock. 
But first, here's a fizz tip. The larger the shamrock, the more vinegar you may need to add. Hmm, good fizz tip. All right, here we go. Do you hear that? Do you hear the fizz? Make sure to cover all the shamrock. Excellent. Fantastic! Do you see all the wondrous fizz? Can you hear it? Can you smell it? Well, we can. All right, you've done it. And now you have a fizzing shamrock to display and remind you of the gospel and of St. Patrick. I hope when you're done, you'll snap a picture and post it online so we can see the results of your marvelous experiment. Tag us at Fizzlebop Labs and use hashtag Fizzlebop. Dr. Fizzlebop, what's happening? Well, we've made a fizzing chemical reaction by adding the vinegar to the baking soda. Baking soda is a base and vinegar is an acid. When these two combine, they produce a gas called carbon dioxide. And do you know what carbon dioxide is great for? Fizz. It's great for lots and lots of fizz. So when the two react, the fizzing begins. You can hear it, you can see it, and yes, you can even smell it. It's time to collect our data. You can record it in your Fizzlebop Labs notebook. Describe the reaction between the vinegar and the baking soda. Do you think different shapes, not chain rocks, would react differently? Interesting. And what might the reaction be like if you didn't let the glue dry for two hours? That's it! I hope you'll enjoy your fizzing shamrocks and that you'll share the results of your experiment with us by tagging us at Fizzbop Labs and using hashtag Fizzbop. Thanks for joining us here at Fizzbop Labs. I hope you have had as fantastic time as we have. Each week we'll have a brand new experiment for you, so don't forget to subscribe.